does this look like you? Are you getting painfully frustrated every time you go to edit? If you are, this video is for you. Today we're going to discuss how to speed up editing in Final Cut Pro. If every time you go to edit you are getting super frustrated or annoyed with the speed of your laptop or computer, you are not alone. Every single time I go to edit 4K footage or even 1080 shot in 60 frames per second, my laptop starts to go. So first of all, welcome back to this week's video. My name is Ben O'Neill with Ben O'Neill Productions and today we're gonna to be discussing a few ways that we can speed up our editing workflow in Final Cut Pro. So the first thing I'm gonna recommend is to buy an SSD. SSD stands for Solid State Drive. An SSD is definitely more expensive than the traditional hard drive, but it 100% beats it on speed and reliability. Using an SSD helps dramatically because instead of editing off your device's hard drive, we're gonna now be editing off an external SSD. This will keep your laptop or PC running as quickly and smoothly as it should be. An SSD is very easy to use. Pretty much just connect it up to your laptop and instead of importing your files to Final Cut Pro, you want to move your Final Cut library to the SSD and then edit through Final Cut Pro on the SSD. I promise you it will be worth the investment if you are editing off a very slow laptop or computer. So the next thing we want to do is to edit with proxy files. If you are unsure about what a proxy file is, it's pretty much a lower resolution version of your original file. As an example, if your original file is 1GB, the proxy file will be roughly 500MB. Proxy files are fantastic as it speeds up your editing and stops your laptop or PC from lagging so much. I'm not going to waste any time, so I'm quickly just going to show you how we create proxy files in Final Cut Pro. So the first thing you want to do when on Final Cut Pro is to open up a project. We then want to click on the top left hand side corner, the import button. We now find our SSD or our SD card. We click on it and then we wait for our files to load in. As a side note, if you are only editing files in 1080 and your laptop can run them smoothly, there's no need to generate proxy files. On the screen now, you can see our files we want. And now on our right hand side, I'm gonna click Create Proxy Media. This will generate proxy files half the size of our original files. These will be a lot easier to edit. As you can see, these files are now importing. If you click View on the top right hand side corner where the cursor is, and go down and click Under Media Playback, Proxy Only you'll see that these files are still importing and the proxies are being generated. I'm just gonna wait now till the proxy files generate. Our proxy files are now generated. You can now bring them down into the timeline and edit like you usually would edit. Because these are proxy files, they're gonna edit way faster and your laptop will not lag as much. So when you're ready to export in full resolution, you're gonna go back up to view and click optimize slash original. This will bring the timeline back to your original media. These will be the bigger file sizes and the full resolution. And then to export, you're gonna click the export button, master file, and that will be your full file size. The next thing we want to do is to close all applications in the background. When editing, we just want to have Final Cut or whatever editing software you are using open. This keeps your laptop or PC as cool as possible and it makes sure it's not struggling to run too many background tasks at the same time. And the last tip of the day is to download Max Fan Control. This may seem like a weird one and when it was recommended to me, I really didn't believe it. But after using it for a week or two, I actually realized that it does work. I found out that Apple actually make it that the fans on our Mac run more quietly and this can sometimes cause our Mac to overheat. And when our laptop overheats, this can cause it to run way slower than it should be. The second I opened Final Cut Pro, I turned fan speed up to full blast straight away to ensure my laptop can stay as cool as possible. Keeping your laptop or PC as cool as possible can help it to run at faster speeds. If any of the tips in this video did help you, please leave a like and comment. And if you want to see weekly videos like this, there's one going up every week. 
So please subscribe. I will see you guys next week. I hope everyone has a great day.